So we here at uh, Omate with the CEO and founder of Omate, yeah. right? Hi, hi everyone. Yes. Yes. So uh, when did you start Omate? Started in uh, 2013, and uh, after three years we survived. We're still here. And you are uh, selling a lot of smartwatches, right? Uh, not bad. I mean, uh, we're not uh, we're a small independent company, but uh, we we have been more successful. We did. Um, successful uh, launch in uh, Taiwan. In Taiwan we do pretty well, in China as well, and uh, starting in the US and Europe a little bit. And you have a nice booth here at the Mobile World Congress, and you have some partners here? Yes, so we did our announcement with Wercom. So Wercom is a location-based uh, services company, and what we announced with them is based on, probably you remember TrueSmart, so that, yeah. this is a TrueSmart Plus, so I can show you here. Some here are the notification. Some of the notification I got. Uh, the watch face. So the user interface is super smooth. Which uh, platform is that? And uh, so this is six five seven two M seven six five seven two M. And based on this, actually, we team up with Wacom to launch our first smartwatch for kids. So I can show you here. This is a developer edition. So. You don't? Android for kids? Yes, Android for kids. So because uh, why give? Uh, give I can show you. Uh, uh, feature, feature watch. You want them to give? You, you want to give them a smartwatch? Because boring. Kids, they don't care about time. They don't care about you know f uh, feature phone or they don't care about uh, location-based services. Uh, they care about games. They care. They they know to unlock your phone. They know to you know like to. Uh, to play with the iPad and so on. They need so apps. They love that. Yes, so we have, so what we created is we created a user interface dedicated for them. So it's kind of a theme or a launcher where you can change, you know, like this would be more boy, boy style. And let's, let's call, so let's call dad. Okay, hi dad. Actually, he's my colleague, Dad. I think he's also mom and grandpa, I think. Yeah, he's always... <laughs> yeah. Uncle as well. So, it's more like a user interface which is um, kid-friendly. And, of course, in the design. And uh, and then, I can show... some more, the UI? So, ta -da! Call, and chat, friends, uh, some sports. Oh, let me check. What happened to the friends? Uh, actually, you can... It's a contact list? It's kind of contact list, yeah. You can also, two devices can bump together to become friends. Really? Uh, yeah, sports, for example, sports, you have like your pedometer. Or, I mean, it's all to give them something which feel for them, which is cool. Do you remember your first watch? Yeah. As a kid. It's a super important, right? Yeah. It was probably the most valuable you think you own when you were a kid. It was a flick flack. A flick flack, yeah. Me was a Casio, I think. And uh, I never got the flick flack. Lucky you. <laughs> and, um, I'm Swiss. Ah, yeah. Uh, not Japanese, but uh, we got Casio. <laughs> and if you... Um, so, actually... It's, it's just like, uh, yeah, the most, uh, the most valuable thing you own when you are a kid. So this is designed for kids aged 6 to 9 years old. So why 6 to 9? Because from so here you can insert the sim card here so i need to why six to nine is because five is too is too young definitely too young to to have a watch and is the bulky is too bulky for them and from 10 years old they already want an iphone they already want a smartphone so kids have changed so six to nine they love that they want they want uh i can show you some games as they well. want facebook no, Even though they're not, not allowed, I know. But no, they... but imagine playing Space Invaders on, on your, you know, on a, on your on your wrist. So that's this is higher resolution than the original Game Boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, the 320 by 320 is the same resolution as the True Smart. What is the resolution? 320 by 320. All right. Yeah. So it's a good battery life. Yeah, it would be a two days battery life. I mean, kids usually come back at home every night. So, and of course, uh, so they need to charge me. It's really also like to teach them their connected life. It's the beginning of their connected life. They know to, they're the most, uh, I think they are the number one user of the iPad at home. Kids. All right. What is this? This one is a, this is a racer. So in different style and different colors. Uh, this is a, a MT2502. And this is always on display. 
technology for the always on display? Uh, it's, a tr it's truly display. And we were the first, we were the f their lead customer on, the, um, on this display. So now this module, so here you can see our module, uh -huh. with a vibrator. Uh, oh, that one is a bit dirty, sorry. That one has been in the washing machine. Yeah, that one is clean. Why you put it in the washing machine? Uh, this is, I don't know, this one has been through testing, I think. <laughs> but, uh, so that one is, uh, yeah, 2502. Uh, you can see our pin here. And so this module, actually, we designed many watches. Many different watches from ladies, ladies watches, uh, more men stylish, to the racer, which is more casual. All right. And now, so this is, so it's really the early prototype. I should not show that. It's not beautiful enough to show, but this is the very, very first prototype of the Homemade Rise. So this is a 2601. So that means it can push notification from iPhone or Android, or it, you can use it as a standalone device. So here is basically, so that's the beauty of the rise. Sorry, here. Temporary Nice. Watch. Oh, sorry. Is this the SIM card slot? Really? Yes. Here is a nano SIM card. So this is very like uh, geek and engineering, but you, you can, we can put like for example, um, I mean here yeah, you can see really the inside, we will probably hide that. It's great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, so here, as you can see, is number it's like 001. A, it's like your old Casio, right? The way you open to put the change of battery? Yeah, it's, again, it's like inspired from the from watch the of, the, of the 21st century, we just try to build them as a the watch of the 21st century. And this is real carbon fiber. So only this part is like, I think right now 30 US dollars just this part. That's super expensive, I mean, that's our cost. This is bulletproof. This is carbon fiber, it's very light also. Yeah. I mean the wall. So yeah, let me show. So, I can show you. So different watch faces that we show during the campaign. So they're already all integrated. Let's go for the what? That one. So here you have um, some of the. This is really early um, UI. It's not really not the final. Oh, I need to swipe that. Sorry. Uh, and here you have like I have no notification on that one. And here is the OUI. So it's very similar as the OUI 3 uh, 4.0 on that one because it's wrong. So that's the challenge. Nice. So, uh, is there any chance that uh, you, you might be able to get Android Wear? Uh, so, Android Wear is not really part of our, um, of our strategy right now. We, we believe in, um, you know, in full Android, in uh, what we are doing, our customization of the, with the homemade user interface. And, um, I mean, it's, it's very cool. I really like on, um, uh, Android as it is, Android 5.1, and how we, how we can uh, improve. Uh, the user experience. Android Wear, uh, the great thing is I know they are opening with um, on the standalone side, so probably there would be like some... Uh, the opening? I mean, no, we, there are some devices which have been announced, which have been withdrawn from the market, like the LG, uh, the LG Urban uh, LT, which were like, um, which were with Android Wear or Telecom, so um, I think in the future there would be more. So then because there would be you an like to have a SIM card, and right now Android Wear yeah, is we're not supposed supply. to be SIM card, right? So yeah, but the, I mean they did one, and they, uh, it was only they sold it in Korea. Uh, actually, they recorded, but anyway, that's uh, yeah. their stuff. But um, Android Wear we support now the, the SIM card, so I think it's uh, there are a lot of opportunity because that was our vision three years ago when we started. Do you think uh, Google is doing enough to? Make a smartwatch platform uh, that's uh, uh, like most most as you as, mm. as usable as possible and reaching the potential that they should be reaching. Yeah, I think uh, they are doing pretty well. I, I mean, their strategy, like to team up with uh, with uh, watch brands, is uh, very smart. I think it's uh, it's much better than teaming up with uh, mobile phone brands. Uh, they have no choice for the mobile phone brand, but teaming up with Casio, for example, is, is fantastic. Uh, uh, um, teaming up with, and that's about the same as what we are doing. We, we are very open to, 
to team up with companies, uh, you know, through our module, with people who who know everything about fashion, everything about watch, but know nothing about technology. So that's uh, the right combination. The tag smartwatch is for me the, the best smartwatch in the market. It's beautiful. It's uh, it's incredible, and uh, it's, it's the right combination of. Um, of uh, talents, you know, like Google, in, Intel, I mean, Android Wear, uh, Intel, and, uh, and uh, a real smartwatch brand, a real watch brand. So that makes a very beautiful product. And from our side, we, we try to have a very humble, wearable tech company. So we do our module, and we, we learn, and we, we have our community, and we are very happy to design some cool product. All right, so uh, have you been to some uh, watch conferences? So I plan to go to my first Basel uh, watch uh, show. Basel World. Basel World uh, in uh, is in March. So I plan to go there for the first time. Yeah. You have your ticket? Uh, uh, I may have an invitation. All right, yeah. that's great. So you we can may have uh, an announcement. I don't you're gonna know. connect with all the Swiss watch uh, companies and maybe yeah, you can have a global. partnership, right? Uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what we are definitely working on. That's cool. So this is, I mean, this this looks really great, and I, I think the always on display is awesome. Yeah, it works uh, pretty well. there can be uh, even better always on display is coming out in the future where. Yeah, I mean, it's there super, needs to be yeah. a lot of uh, yeah, the development done in that. Yeah, exactly. What do you think about e-ink? Uh, e-ink is like. Um, how to say? It's like watching, uh, you know, it's like a TV, uh, you know, a black and white TV, you know, it's a bit... I, I love e-ink on, uh, on my Amazon Kindle, for example, but on a watch, uh, it's a bit sad, I think. We are used to, you know, um, this is like a smartphone on your wrist, so it's hard to have a black and white smartphone or e-ink, even color ink. The resolution is a bit too poor, I think. All right, so looking forward to 2016, and I hope you sell more than Samsung.